Welcome back everyone to the Core Actual YouTube channel. Today is another fun garage workout. I just came up with this thing as I went. Uh, it's raining pretty bad right now so I didn't do my usual three mile run. So I had to make up for it by doing uh, some uh, kettlebell cardio type uh, workout. So today I introduced some more uh, complex movements with the kettlebell so uh, I, I hope you guys are uh, not going to be too confused by it so you can always rewind and watch back that's how I learn watch some of the guys that uh, I look up to in the kettlebell world and I just learn some of these complex movements from them so I'm like for the first movement is when uh, the upside down kettlebell squat lunge press um, if you can't do the hold the kettlebell in the upside down position just just do the clean kettlebell clean and just go from the clean position and eventually work your way up to using the uh, upside down kettlebell. Um, I didn't go too heavy, I just used a 16 kilo. I also attempted this with a 20 kilo, but uh, it didn't look as clean as the 16. So uh, uh, going heavy is not always the best thing for some of these movements, because you might end up, end up hurting yourself. So that was the first exercise, and I uh, just did uh, six reps, so three reps per side and I did it for four sets. The next one was the rotational kettlebell press and uh, that one's a smoker. So for that one, if you don't have a kettlebell, use a dumbbell. I learned that from one of the guys I look up to, BJ Gador. He was using a dumbbell for this one or you switching hands as you're doing the rotation. I just switched it up so uh, I just wanted to go with a little bit heavier weight and uh, practice with a kettlebell so I used my uh, 20 kilogram and I did that for uh, 12 reps uh, per side and that one's gonna be a smoker so that one's really gonna you're really gonna feel, feel it in your lower back by the time you're done so I did that for four sets as well and then you did the barbell lunge with a with a rotation so you I mean usually I use a lighter bar for this but my 45 pound barbell is all I got so I just did six reps so three reps per side is when you punch out with a lunge and twist this is an awesome exercise for some of you uh, guys in the military police world or, or gals uh, awesome exercise works those shoulders for when you're punching out with a gun uh, and works your core like crazy so did that for four sets and then uh, the, another one was a nice fun uh, kettlebell flow is when you sw squat sw swing and uh, you do the figure eight between your legs and then with another squat that's a nice little burner it's just to loosen up some of the muscles after doing the, all the crazy rotational exercises so I did that for eight to ten reps and uh, for four sets total so if you don't have a kettlebell you can just uh, just get creative use a dumbbell and the last thing was the the flutter kicks with a barbell press for that one you if you don't have a barbell use uh, some type of weight a couple dumbbells or just one dumbbell and just do the press and it's, it's a nice uh, nice little finisher for your core I mean right now I feel pretty good so I did that for four sets as well so I hope you guys are enjoying these workouts uh, sometimes I just come up with these on the fly I've been pretty busy with homeschooling and trying to edit all these videos I have a whole collection so there's a lot of workouts coming your way and uh, I hope you guys are not tired of seeing my uh, boring garage but gotta work with what you have and you gotta train like you fight so I can't uh, stop training and you guys keep asking for more stuff so I'm gonna keep making it as long as you guys keep requesting it. So, uh, hope you're still enjoying this. Uh, please subscribe, follow, give us a thumbs up, and uh, please share it with all your friends. And uh, follow us on Instagram to the core actual and the Russian assassin. And I'll see you guys on the next one.